This is Alex Wood, San Francisco Giants, here with Jim on Base. Yep. Welcome back to another episode of the Jim on Base Show. For today's very special guest, we have on Alex Wood from the San Francisco Giants. Alex, how's it going? Good to see you. Good, man. Now, one thing I thought was interesting about you is you're also left-handed like myself. <laughs> so do you do everything left-handed or? Pretty much just throw, honestly. Throw and punt a ball with my left foot. Everything else I eat right-handed, right right-handed. So bowl right-handed, pretty much everything right-handed except for throw. Yeah, it makes me feel kind of screwed up sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah lefties are weird. <laughs> and you, you're from uh, North Carolina, right? Yeah, I grew up in Charlotte, North Carolina. Who did you root for growing up? Because I know you went to college in Atlanta, right? Yeah, I went to, went to school at Georgia. I grew up a Braves fan, like most people in the Southeast. My dad's actually grew up in Long Island, New York, so he was a Mets fan, so I liked the Mets too, which was a little bit a little bit interesting uh, than being in the same division, but th those are my two teams growing up. Did you have any certain players that you looked up to? Were you always a pitcher coming up? or? Yeah, I always, always pitched from the time I was I was really young. I mean, I obviously I, lo I loved Johan Santana. I loved Tom Clavin. Um, those are probably two two of my favorite ones. Cliff Lee was one of my favorite guys growing up too. And I saw you yesterday. You were uh, kind of doing like a warm up drill. You were throwing. It looked like some weighted balls into the brick wall. Yeah. So is that just to get some arm strength or? Yeah, my pin days. I usually uh, throw plyo balls uh, off off the mound, and then I do plyo balls on flat ground pretty much pretty much every day. Just to. Uh, they're constraint drills that help you know uh, help you move more efficiently, and so it's just a routine I've been in for the last couple of years. And who are you kind of away from the field? Are you into certain shows, or what do you like to do to maybe get your mind off the game? I mean, I've got a six-month-old now, so that's okay. taking up a lot of my time. But yeah, my wife and I like to, like to watch like to watch TV shows uh, and, and all of all of that. So um, I like to watch shows. Off season, like to travel, and so uh, those are some of my favorite things to do. Do you have any upcoming trips, or do you go anywhere fun in the off season? Uh, we did, we went to Turks and Caicos in the Caribbean this off season was our was our was our one good trip and then uh, we're hoping to go back to Europe this off season so so we'll see what happens. Well, you did win the World Series not too long ago, so I'm, I'm always curious. Uh, what do you do with the ring? Is it on lockdown? Is it in a safe? Or? <laughs> I've got a I've got a little memorabilia room in my house that I've kind of thrown together, and so uh, my my ring's there with with all, all my stuff. Yeah. And is the memorabilia like your own career? Or are you were you ever like an autograph guy growing up? Or for sure, yeah. I've I've got a pretty large jersey collection. I've got probably have twenty five or thirty bats. I've gotten guys guys to sign, and then I have you know all different bobbleheads and uh, d shoes and different things I've collected over over the years. And if you're right down the street from Chase Center, do you have a Steph jersey in there or anything yet from the Warriors? Uh, no Steph jersey, but that is definitely on my on my on my list. That that would be sweet. He's he's actually from Charlotte too, where, oh, I'm, where yeah. I'm from. So I, I gr grew up watching him and his brothers. Uh, uh, and we have some mutual friends, so yeah, obviously a big Steph Curry fan. And since we were talking about memorabilia, Evan Longoria had him on the show a few weeks ago, and he has a pretty good memorabilia collection going. So, do you guys ever talk about that or compare? Sometimes, yeah. He's he's real big into the card game too. Uh, I've got I've got Longo's jersey on my on my on my wall at the, at the house. He, he signed a, a really cool Rays jersey for me, but uh, I haven't talked too much with Longo about what his collection looks like. But I'm sure it's pretty pretty good after all, all the years he's been playing. And then uh, since you are. On the Giants, do you live in the city, or are you kind of a suburbs guy? Or live in the city, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, my, my wife and I have been in Pack Heights the last few years, and, and we're over, over that way uh, for this season too. So we, we like living in the city for sure. Well, good luck with the baby. Hope she uh, is that a g it's girl or boy? Yeah, boy. Asa is his name. Asa. That's a cool name. Appreciate How'd it. How'd you come up with that? Uh, I saw it a couple years ago and just really, really loved, loved the name. And then it's it's actually a biblical name too, as well. And so uh, I, I wore my wife down, but uh, <laughs> we were just really love that name. Well, thanks for joining us. It's fun to meet you, and uh, good luck this season. We'll see you around. Yep, sounds great. Thanks for having me.